of the Hubble Space Telescope's major achievements was the confirmation that galaxies have in their core supermassive black holes. At least for a time, we're kind of a mythical idea, you know, a mathematical possibility coming from the physics. But it was not clear decades ago whether we could actually observe a black hole because kind of by definition, black holes are not viewable. The light cannot escape. So the question is, could you observe effects of black holes to determine that they are there? Now, the way Hubble has detected this is by looking not at the black hole, which is really impossible to see. What we see is material right around the black hole, in particular this galaxy called M87, which has a spectacular ejected jet, which you can see. And often we see material orbiting that inner black hole, like gas, and orbiting very fast. So we can use the instruments on Hubble to discern whether material on one side of the black hole is moving away from us and material on the other side is moving toward us, as you might expect if the material is orbiting. Since that time, Hubble has followed up with many other galaxies and seen evidence for supermassive black holes. So we now believe that most and maybe all galaxies have some kind of supermassive black hole in the center. People did not dream that that would be true. It wasn't that long ago that people thought there were no black holes. Then we thought, well, we don't imagine how they could exist, so there probably aren't any. And now we are forced into understanding how come there are so many of them.